Okay. Twenty six million. Mm. I don't even know who won the UFC Cal game. I went upstairs and now the game's over. Okay. Uh could do strength. I think I want to finish Kanji, though. Hi, Bosch on the Kanji Meister. Sorry for barging in like this. I thought it'd be a good place. Oh, first though, there's one more thing I figured out. Rise stopped by our store the other day. She said the dolls were cute, so I told her I made them. And she said that was creepy. <coughs> kind of stung, but I kept on showing her the other stuff I made. And in the end, she said, maybe you're an amazing guy after all. Pissed me off the way she said it, but that aside, I get it now. This is what he was talking about. Just been throwing in the towel all this time. Of course no one could understand me. I've been keeping my distance out of fear. So I decided that I'd do things my way, no matter how tough. But it ain't just about hanging out with guys who understand you and telling the rest to get bent. You gotta make an effort if you want people to understand you. I wasn't even trying. Not just about my hobby, but like when the police suspected me, it didn't even cross my mind to try to tell them my story. I let them think whatever they want. And because of that, you, Ma, and that kid all got dragged into it. I didn't put in the slightest effort to try and make them understand. It's easier for me to act tough. So for 
From now on, I got two rules. Rule one, be myself. Rule two, get people to understand me. I want you to have this, senpai. This thing's me being me. Now I can say it straight out. Huh? That other me is me. This? For reals? <laughs> I get it. So I've become a little stronger, huh? You're my hero, dude. And my best bud. Alright. So as far as getting other people to understand me, today I'm holding the Oven Mitt Puppets 101 class right here. Don't worry, even you can do it. It'll be real cute. Believe me. Hey, Bill. <clears throat> Let's catch some bugs. All right, we got three now. I just needed to rain during the day, one of these night days, and I can go catch the... Guardian of the Sea. Alright, we're gonna go hang with the uh, sexy nurse. I think that's the only thing I can do that's really worth doing right now. Wish, kinda wish my courage wasn't max. Sayoko's making me work. Yo! Ugh, 
On top of planning it, Kashiwagi's gonna be in it? So that's why she agreed to plan this event. <laughs> One, two... Wow, there's a lot of sign-ups here. I'm surprised so many people took an interest. Whoa, Risei Kujikawa? Seriously? Oh man, trust a celebrity to kill the fun of it all. I bet she'll draw a huge crowd. Wow, Yukiko-san's finally entering. If this was any other year, she'd win for sure. Now she's up against Rosette. It's gonna be a culture festival to remember. Huh? Rosette's entering? She's gonna take part in something like this? Maybe I better think more seriously about saving a seat. Look, Chie's entering too. She's actually pretty close to my type. I like how her na his name is Chie Fan. Actually, I hear she has a lot of secret admirers. Naoto's that boyish, girlish, whatever, right? You know, she's, uh, pretty cute. <sighs> Dude, you sound like a pervo when you laugh like that. But, to be honest, I think she's cute too. <laughs> Yo, are you free for lunch? I don't know why, but Chie asked us to come to the roof. She looked pretty serious. I wonder if something's happened. Oh, and Kanji's coming too. You better have a damn good explanation for this! For what? It wasn't me. Why do you automatically blame me? Yeah, David, I hope they get that over with quickly. I hope they resolve that quickly and it doesn't affect the actual off season. But I guess that's not very likely. I mean, if you don't want to do it, you just say no, right? Like it was just a joke. Seriously? Must have been something in the fine print I overlooked. So it was you! Oh crap! Hey, do you want us to take part in the beauty pageant? Does the average MOB player have enough money saved up to survive a lockout? Well, yeah. I mean, you guys know how popular Yukiko is here. And on top of that, we have an idol and a detective prince. What's the point of having a beauty pageant if all these incredible heroines aren't going to take part? So where do I fit in? Oh. Well, excuse me for not fitting in! Hey, you want them to be in it too, don't you, Kanji? Huh? I ain't interested in that stuff. Naoto-kun, Kanji-kun says that he really wants you to be in it. What? Well, I, I, I didn't say nothing. What about you? You want them to be in it, right? Ah, oh. I thought you might be a little jealous, not wanting me to show off to other guys. But I guess you're not that uptight. Hey, you guys are inching onto the bandwagon with Yosuke, aren't you? So long as there are people looking forward to seeing me, I might as well put on a show for them. Of course, there's no need to involve my agency in this. That's right! That's the way to go! Teddy's looking forward to it too. Actually, I think he was more excited than anyone. It was him who was pushing me to sign you all up. <gasps> so Ted's behind this too! <sighs> We're in an awkward position. If we can't refuse, I suppose there's no sense in arguing the point. But it seems ill-fitting for someone like me to get up on stage. I wonder if there's any way I could take it up with the school authorities. 
I don't think it's a problem at all. I mean, just do it, you know? Seriously. Dude, looks like your blood's boiling even more than usual. <laughs> Silly Kanji. Just tell her you want to see her on the stage. So, is it a deal? The four of us will be in the beauty pageant? What are you saying? Um, I beg you, please be in it. If you do, my, uh, doubts will finally be cleared. Come on, make me a man! Doubts? What are you talking about? Look, just, just do it, damn it! I mean, you're an ace detective, aren't you? What does that have to do with a beauty pageant? Where'd you guys go? Over to Jeunesse. We had to go get some paint and cloth. <clears throat> oh, for the decorations. Thank you. Did you have them write you an invoice? <laughs> yeah, I think they understood what it was for, so they wrote it without us having to ask. There's some things I want to go over about the day of the event. Is this about the group date cafe? Yes, since Yosuke's leading the executive committee. Wait, what? <clears throat> it was your proposal, right? Are you serious? Excuse me. Well, all you have to do is the reception. After people sign in, have a few guys and girls sit facing each other at a table. Conduct the short session first where they ask each other questions. After about half an hour of that, it'll be confession time. Get them to select the number of the person they like. If the other person accepts, that makes them a couple. Hey, Yosuke, you listening? <sighs> yeah, I hear you. <laughs> hey, if we roll up this bit of cloth, won't it kind of be like a ball? Yeah, okay, I'll be the catcher. Uh, Green 80, it might be Micah Parsons, actually. Why the catcher? Hey, Yosuke, want to be the batter? <sighs> uh, I don't give a damn anymore. I'm in. Watch me slam that ball right back into your face. Hey, you guys better get serious about this. You're back. They look good. Great vegetables. Yeah, Green 80. The dude's basically playing two positions, linebacker and defensive end. And he's doing both really well. Well... I'm excited to see them come in. Fifty grand. That's like five hundred bucks. Dojima's a cool dad. You son of a... Um... I think I do need to hang out... No, I already did. <clears throat> I don't need to again.
Uh, Will McKinley, there are two objectives to this game. One is you live the average life of a high school student, and the other is that you solve a murder mystery. All right, we got like five now, so we got plenty. We got plenty of Genji Beetles. Really, Sayoko, you're working me. This lady is working me like crazy, bro. What did I do wrong to you? It's Yosuke. We're expecting great things from you. <laughs> They're doing the cross-dressing pageant again this year? Man, they never learn, do they? Ooh, some people have signed up already. <laughs> Man, what idiots would want to be in this thing? Let's see. Yosuke Hanamura... Me?! Wait, and Kanji Tatsumi? You're on here, too! Wow, there's a lot of contestants. Didn't we only get, like, two people last year? I heard this year, even if someone else signs you up, you can't back out. Well, that's not cool. Hey, but what if they did sign themselves up? Ew, what a disturbing thought! Seriously, that's really wrong! Someone else signs you up? It's them! They must have done this! You better have a damn good explanation for this! For what? For what, my ass? For signing us all up in the cross-dressing pageant! It was you, wasn't it? Oh, that thing! Rise-chan started saying, let's all have fun with this, so I didn't really have a choice. And Kashiwagi seems happy too now that there's more people involved in it. You little... This is cross-dressing! Cross-dressing! Well, you're the one who started it! It's because of you that we can't back out of the beauty pageant, so it serves you right! That's beside the point. Don't worry. We'll make you absolutely enchanting, okay? That's not what's important here. It's about a man's pride, damn it! Whoa. Are you serious? Yeah, yeah, this has nothing to do with pride or any of that. You know already, right? Once someone signs you up, you can't back out. If you got a problem with that, go talk to Ms. Kashiwagi. There's no way she's gonna listen. What? Why are you giving up? I ain't doing this, period. Kanji-kun, are you still okay as far as the mandatory attendance policy? <coughs> Oh, yeah. Yeah, David, that kind of reminds me. Apparently, LeBron James Jr. is not wearing LeBron's number. Because he doesn't want people to know who he is. But his name is LeBron James Jr. Like, people already know who you are, dude. 
I'm not nervous, Dorian. There's nothing to be nervous about. I don't think it would be wise to disappoint a teacher too much. You are a scary gal. You know that, senpai? Just leave it to us to dress you guys up. Risa Chan's with us too. There's no way you won't turn out pretty. You're positive we'll be pretty? I guarantee it. Hey, why are you suddenly fine with this? Well, if we gotta do this, might as well go all the way with it. There's nothing manly about being a woman. I seriously refuse. Kashiwagi's sure gonna get angry if you don't show up. Maybe you and Kanji-kun can be classmates next year. Why is this happening? We all end up in the same boat without our consent. What kind of joke is this? Uh, the exact same joke you pulled on us? If we gotta do this, might as well go all the way with it. <laughs> oh, welcome back. Oh. It's not gonna let me do anything. Alright, I'm actually gonna go ahead and call it early tonight. I don't want to start the culture festival uh, tonight. That's an extended sequence. And I'm tired. And we got football tomorrow, so I'm actually going to go ahead and call it a little early. I usually go a little longer on these nights, but I think I'm going to tap out. See you guys tomorrow. There should be a video before the game tomorrow. There's going to be a video after the game, and then we are going to have the post-game stream during Sunday Night Football. Keep an eye out for that. Uh, who is the Monday night game tomorrow? Let me see here. Uh, Cowboy, well, Broncos Chiefs. Okay, that's not awful, I guess. Watchable. Are there good games? Bucks Falcons. Eh. Cardinals Bears. Not really. Chargers Bengals. That's pretty good. Vikings Lions. Giants Dolphins. Loser leaves town, kind of. Eagles Jets. Colts, Texans, football team Raiders, Jags, Rams, Ravens, Steelers. All right. Well, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and just jet on out of here. I don't want to start the culture festival scene yet. So talk to you guys tomorrow.